So Erica, do you have a hobby? Yes, I like horse riding. But I wonder how can I apply it to my career? It has nothing to do with mechanical engineering. You know, it's quite an issue to find your thing. We dream about enjoying our jobs as much as it would be our hobby. But the routine work is something we mostly cannot avoid. Oh yeah, this is so true. But we want you to introduce to someone who found an unexpected way of applying the creative interest into a job. His name is Robert and he is working at the Technical Documentation Department of the Swedish office in Adaplan. Hello Robert. Hello. Technical documentation sounds scary, like a lot of paperwork and so can you tell us a bit more about it, please? Yeah, sure. Um, technical documentation is uh, all types of documentation uh, which describes the functionality, handling uh, and the architecture of a product. It could, for instance, be a user manual, uh, which you get when you buy a vacuum cleaner at the store, or a service manual, uh, which describes how a service technician should perform service on a certain product. It can be a documentation linked to a single technical product or a large series of documentation. Um, let's say, for instance, uh, documentation which describes uh, certain processes uh, within a power plant. So we were wondering, did you at some point want to become an artist? Yes, um, that's true. I've been drawing and um, painting for as long as I can remember from when I was a little kid um, until now. And um, yeah, I wanted to become an artist, but it's quite difficult to make a living out of it, so I think, living from it. Um, so after upper secondary school I um, worked with different jobs of technical nature, everything from uh, industrial assembly to uh, agriculture, driving tractors. And um, after some years I, re I realized that I really liked working with technical products and um, were quite good at understanding them. On the other hand I also liked to um, draw. So. Why not combine those? Uh, combine technical products and um, drawing. So at that point I wanted to become a technical illustrator. And I began, began studying at the university um, studied information design and technical illustration. So I think I have had use for my artistic side um, when I've been working um, here at Ateplan and uh, for different jobs. Um, it has been um, quite handy when it comes to uh, making illustrations, 3D visualizations, visualize information in um, all types of information. And also when it comes to describing processes or visualize an idea for a certain project. It's been uh, really nice to have that uh, skiller. 